Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your profit and loss detail to locate and identify your 1099 vendors. This is going to give you all of your detail for all of your purchases, and then you'll need to filter out using Excel. This may or may not be your ideal fit. I just want to put together a couple of videos, this one included, to show you different ways you can approach or tackle this. So let me go to my reports on the left and then reports. In the upper right, I'm just going to search for profit and loss. Um, I, what I really want is my profit and loss detail. I'm not going to generate that report because some people won't have profit and loss detail appear in their list and I want you to have a workaround. So I'm just going to select my profit and loss. I'm going to change this to be for the whole year. It's just faster to do this. 1231, 22, run report. I need it for a cash basis. So here's my whole profit and loss. I'm just going to go to the bottom. I'm not going to worry about grabbing my total expenses because I might have stuff in other expense. So for me, it's easier to go straight to the bottom and click on the number my net income or my net loss. So now I have all of my information, everything that made my profit and loss report. I'm going to scroll up in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to click on the little paper, um, the box with the arrow flying out of it. That's my export. I'm going to export this to Excel. I know that my 1099s are only going to be issued for money that I've spent, not money I've received. So I'm, I'm just going to get rid of all of my income. Um, let's scroll down. Uh, okay, so total income and I just delete, right? You, you do whatever makes the most sense for you. So now what I'm going to do and what I would encourage you to do if you wanted to do this method is just take a look at your categories and say, okay, like when I look at these, what situations do I have where a 1099 will apply? This isn't a fancy magical report that's just going to summarize stuff for you. This is going to help you feel less overwhelmed and less uncertain. This is going to help you just look through your records and say, I want to look into these various categories. So I've got my account called cost of goods sold. Underneath it, I have an account called supplies and materials. So I'm like, well, I don't think I have any 1099 stuff there. Advertising, like, yeah, advertising, that could be an account where maybe I have 1099 stuff. Um, it's blank. <laughs> but if this wasn't blank, I would say, okay, you know, maybe this vendor. Um, okay, so then maybe I'd be like, okay, you know, possibly this. I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time fussing with it at this stage. I'm literally just going through my list to pinpoint anything that I want to keep track of. I have one example in here that I really wanted to get to and that's professional fees. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep track of this vendor, my 1099 sample vendor. All I'm doing with this is just step one. And step one is it's been a long year. Frankly, it's been a long couple of years. And I'm going to look through my profit and loss for any situation that applies to a 1099 miscellaneous or a 1099 NEC. When I find a situation that might apply, I'm just going to highlight it for myself because that feels okay, right? I like things that are not stressful. After I've highlighted everything and I'm like, okay, like here's who I'm going to go look at. I can decide, do I want to pull up a report for that vendor name? Do I want to just keep using Excel? You know, what's good for me? If you want to keep using Excel, the next thing you would look at um, is I, I just go right um, left to right is I look and see how it was paid. I'm issuing a 1099 for people who are paid with cash or cash equivalent. I'm going to go back up to the first one I've highlighted. This is PayPal Bank. PayPal Bank is not a cash or cash equivalent. PayPal Bank will take care of the 1099s for me, so I'm not highlighting that as a thing to address. So I'm just going to give it a red. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I've looked at this. I feel good about it. 
these they're paid out of the checking account so it still is I follow my 1099 flowchart I'm like a service yes um, I've got the name of the person fantastic it's paid out of cash or cash equivalent fantastic and then I keep going to the right and I'm like okay here's how much money I've given them and so the the only thing I'm doing here is I'm just keeping track of my stuff I will then find a way to summarize it I don't I don't have a strong preference on how you summarize. You can summarize in Excel, you can put it on a notepad and then enter it into your 1099 program. What this report is for is for the people who just don't feel confident or comfortable that the software is gonna extract the information um, or who sometimes like imagine the sample vendor sometimes I put them in the category of professional fees but sometimes I put them in a different category for some reason like I want to just I want the peace of mind where I can see that I have gathered up all the times I've given them money and I also want to quickly see out of all the times I've given them money how many times have I used a check versus a credit card so again, the whole point of this is just to give you a different way to slice and dice your data so you have peace in mind in January when it's time to work on your 1099s. I've got a couple more videos that I'm going to make for this. I also have videos explaining how to create a 1099 within QuickBooks, within Tax 1099, and within Track 1099. There is not one right way to do this. The right way is the way that frustrates you the least. If you have any questions regarding 1099s or how to get this stuff together, feel free to reach out to us. Feel free to reach out to your tax preparer. If you've got a bookkeeper, definitely reach out to them. We're all in the same boat and we're all here to help you. Thank you so much and have a great day.